Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. Um, Hi, guys. Sorry, there was a, a technical issue with the account and I couldn't get in, uh, but I'm here. <laughs> so um, how are you guys? How was, how was your day today? Very well, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good, good. Okay. Uh, thank you, Andrea. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So um, before anything, I want to make sure that you guys are okay with the platform. I told you um, today that we would be finishing off any other questions that you guys have. So I want to know um, how you guys are doing with that. Yes, teacher, in my case, uh, no one of the final exam was mm -hmm. correct. Uh, I couldn't solve it. Which one? Uh, you... the, the part C, part C of the part final C. exam in the section five. Okay, okay, yeah. let me, let me get there. Part C is the last one. Okay, just give me a second while my my computer responds. Okay, so parts C, right? Yes, and which one? Which exercise of part C? No one of those all exercises. Oh, all of them. Was correct. Yes, all of them. Okay, all right. So those are uh relative clauses okay those are relative clauses what relative clauses are um is that um they are clauses they are clauses that um they tell us they they can do two things one, they can define or identify what we're talking about. So we can say, for example, yesterday I was given the example of um, a, a bee is an insect that makes honey. So we are defining, we are giving information of what what um, an insect, sorry, what, what kind of an insect it is. Um, or we can also even say, uh, a bee is a, an insect which makes honey. So we can use the word that or which to identify or define what an insect is, okay? Now, we can also um, use the word who to talk about a person. So we can say, for example, a vet is a doctor who takes uh, care of animals, okay? So a vet is a doctor who takes care of animals. So we're using the word who to identify the person. So we can use uh, any one of those three words. We can use who for people, which for things or, or animals, and that we can use for both. We can use that for a person or for a thing. Okay. Could I? Mm -hmm. Could I send a, a picture of my exercises to the yeah. WhatsApp group? Absolutely. In order yeah. to okay. Yeah, and and okay. So that's one thing. So that's when you are defining. That's when you are defining or you're identifying the person. Now. Um, for when you are um, giving extra information, so it's information that you don't need in um, to make the sentence work, but it's just, just giving extra information, then what you do is you use the word who for people and which for things, but never that, okay? And in that case, you're going to separate the extra information with commas. So for example, and I'm gonna give you the first one as an example. 
Okay, um, I'm going to I'm going to um, share my screen. So please tell me if you guys can see it. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So in that case, okay. So it says, um, okay. So it says here, uh, join the sentence with who or that. Remember what I just told you. That is um is used for things and people. But we're in this case, I think they want you to use that for things. And um, okay, and this this was an example. TV sitcoms features actors. They are recognized by viewers around the world. Now, in this one, we are defining the um or yeah. No, no, sorry, not defining, we're identifying. We're identifying who the actors are. The actors are uh, viewed around the world or they are recognized by viewers around the world, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, all right. So because we are, um, we are identifying who the actors are, we're not going to use a comma. And because the actors are people, we're going to be using the word who. So we're going to say, we're going to start with this part. Uh, sitcom features actors, right here. Sitcom features actors. And then we're going to use the word who to connect the two clauses together. Okay, because we're talking about people. Okay. And then we continue the rest of it. Instead of saying, basically, instead of saying they, we're going to replace the word they with who. Okay? And we're just going to continue with the rest of it. Are recognized by viewers around the world, which is exactly the same thing that we have here. Okay? That is in the case when we are connecting two clauses to define or identify, okay? So it's, this one is very, very easy. All you do is simply, you're gonna eliminate the, the period because it's gonna be, you're gonna be, you're going to be connecting the two clauses. And then we just simply replace the word they with who, because we're talking about people. Pretty simple, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, good. Now look at this one. Uh, a newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research. He or she is often new to journalism. Now, are we defining or are we giving extra information? This part here, this I second think we part. are giving Mm -hmm. um, extra information. Exactly. We're giving extra information. So because we're giving extra information, we're going to be, you're, you're going to be separating those clauses with a, with a comma. Okay. So now we continue talking about people, right? Because this is a newspaper clerk. It's a person. So we're going to use the word who, but we're going to be separating that clause from the rest of it with a comma. So we end up with this. Look at this sentence. A newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research, which is exactly the same thing we have here. A newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research. It's exactly the same. 
Now, the difference between this one and this one is this, this second sentence here is in the middle. And where is, why is it in the middle? Because it's directly after the thing that it's um, giving extra information about. So in this case, we're given in extra information about newspaper clerk. So we're going to put that clause directly after it. Okay? So it cannot be at the end. It has to be exactly right after the thing that you are giving the extra information about. Okay? And in this case, we're going to be separating with two commas. Okay, two commas right there. Do you see that? You see that we're using two commas? Let me. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna circle them so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, we have two commas there. Okay, and because we are using sorry because we are giving extra information about a thing. Sorry, about a person, sorry. We're going to use the word who. And it's going to be exactly the same sentence here. Is, off, is often new to journalism. So the who replaces the subject he or she. Does that make sense, Jaime? Yes, teacher, I, I got you. Okay, all right. Um, let me, you, you sent the pictures in, did you send the pictures again? Yes, I did, uh, but I don't know which is wrong with my, with my answers. Okay. Um... Let me see, just give me a moment. Uh, okay, so what I'll do, let's do something, Jaime. It seems like you have the idea. So I will analyze, after, after um, afterwards, I will analyze them one by one. Okay, thank you very much. And because it seems like you do understand it. Yeah, I think I you might. Okay, for example, in number two, okay, uh, from what I can see in number two, you um you have changed the the form of the verb instead of you said the original form says they specialize in editing film scripts and you wrote who are specialized so yes, you change the verb i even tried with with the normal form of the verb and it was not correct in the platform okay hold on Let's just see then what's the answer here. I mean, I'm just going to remove those. There we go. Okay. All right. So the answers here. The first one you got it right, right? Yeah, the first one you got it right. Okay. Second one. Uh, dialogue editors are sound technicians who specialize in editing film scripts. Um, it should work exactly how, if you if you wrote it exactly how it is in the second sentence, it should work. Sorry. So it, you can use either, so basically you can either use the word who because it's we're talking about people it's also possible to use the word that because that can be used for both people and things okay um 
And this one, dialogue editors are some technicians that phone scripts. I'm not sure what's the different with the other one, but yeah, uh, they sh it should work. So let me, Good like day. I said, I think. Did you find? Did you find the 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 mistake? Yeah. Uh, yes. You. You told me that the verb is not in the mm -hmm. right conjugation, and I can use that instead of who. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, that it can be used both for things and people. So that's the nice thing about the word that. Actually, to be honest, if if it's if it's a defining relative clause. If I were you, I would just use that because that can be both people or things. So it's you can never go wrong with the word that. Okay, so um, okay. yeah, just just a little tip for everybody. If 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 it's um, if it's a defining relative clause, so if if you're just defining or identifying, just use the word that. It's it's just easier because you can never go wrong. It's always going to be right. All right. Um, what I'll do, um, Jaime Roberto, is I'll go one, like I said, I'll go one by one, seeing what, oh, the other thing, check if maybe there's no extra space in between. Um, and make sure, you, know, you do say I have the periods. Yeah, so just check that you haven't put like an, an extra space like at the beginning. Sometimes there's there's an extra space at the beginning and that extra space can make the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, so check I that. Okay. okay, okay, okay. And, and I, I will- copy, mm -hmm. I copy the sentence in Google Documents to 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 see the, the, the grammar. Sorry, the grammar. Ah, so yes, it's um, possible. So it's possible that it could have like an extra space if you just if you okay. just copied copied and pasted. It's possible. Okay, in, in that case, I will, uh, I will try one more time. Okay, and, and I will st I will still uh, probably I'm not going to do it after this class. I'll do it around after ten because I have another class after. But I'll check your answers okay. one by one. And I will see if there I can detect a, a, a small error because you do seem to have the answers correct. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Anything else that you guys need help with that I can help you with right now? Not from the, not necessarily from this exercise. It could be from any other exercise. Okay. Well, it seems like everybody's doing quite well. Um, okay, Brendy, you said uh, yesterday that you were still working on it. I don't know if there's something uh, else that you you found. No, uh, no? everything is done. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. What we haven't done, guys, is we haven't taken attendance yet. So I'll do that right now. Okay. Um, okay. So Andrea Geraldine Sanchez uh, Recinos. Not here. Not here. Okay. Second. Okay, Angel Antonio Ramirez uh, Rodriguez. Brandy Marilu Pimentel Kolchek. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Abel Tejada Benitez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edson Sandy Hernandez Alvarenga. Good evening. I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Eduardo Jose Melgar Melgar. Present teacher, I'm here. Wonderful, thank you. 
Uh, Indiana Janet Alvarado Molina. Indiana Janet Alvarado Molina. Okay. Uh, Irma Raquel García de Monterrosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jaime Roberto Aldana Bertrán. Present. Thank you. Uh, Joana Yesenia García de Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Karen Elizabeth uh, Bernal de Avelar. Uh, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Um, Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Present teacher. Present. Okay, oh, gotcha. Thank you. Um, Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Uh, present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Ah, uh, uh, there you are. Okay, are are you are you still at work? Yeah, I'm working right now. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I appreciate that you have connected, even though um you're at work. Yeah, so thank good. you very much. Oh. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Saul Antonio Hernandez Torres. Saul Antonio Hernandez Torres. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Uh, Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. Susana Beatriz. Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Vanessa Esmeralda. Present. Ok, wonderful. Eh, ¿Pudo solucionar el problema, Vanessa? Pues viste oh. que me falla, a veces, a veces me da pero oscuro. Eh, la cámara le, le, le da oscuro, dice. Sí, como borroso. Ah, ok. Vale, pero... pero el lunes voy a, voy a cambiar. Va, está bien, no hay problema. Y ahorita, aunque le dé borroso, siempre le enciende la cámara. Pues me da como oscuro, fíjense. Mm. Entra, enciéndela ahorita a ver qué, qué pasa. Ah, ok, no, va, pero, pero sí, sí, sí la logramos... Divisar un poquito. Pero, o sea, en el lugar donde está no está oscuro. Es que aquí me da oscuro, pero bueno, ya no, es que. Sí, la, la logro ver, o sea, le veo la silueta. Pero, o sea, en el lugar donde está ahorita no está oscuro. No, no está oscuro. Oh, ok, ok. Entonces ah, sí, tal vez un fallo de la cámara. Pero, pero por lo menos ya podemos divisarla. Ya podemos ver que, que usted. <ríe> ok, gracias, Vanessa. Ok. Um, Jancy Andrea Meléndez Mayen. Wonderful, thank you. Ok, guys, uh, what we'll do then is um, we're going to start precisely looking at the passive. We've talked a little bit about the passive in these uh, few days that we've been um, looking at the at the, uh, at the platform, but let's um, talk formally about it. So please tell me if you guys can see my screen. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So it says here, it's the passive to describe process. Okay, um, Karen, 
Elizabeth, you have a question? Teacher, yo me metí hasta ahorita porque temprano nos dijeron que no había clase. Oh, ok. Ah, okay. entonces yo por eso me metí hasta ahorita porque habían dicho que la iban a reprogramar para mañana, pero no volvieron a avisar quizás que había porque yo ya no me había fijado. Oh, um, ok, sorry. Um, sorry, ok, so it's ok, Karen, it wasn't your fault. It just, thank um, you. Yeah, it's ok, thank you, thank you for, for connecting anyways, ok. All right, um, ok, so the passive is to describe process. I mean, there are many, many reasons why we use the, the, the passive, but this is one of the reasons to describe a process, okay? For example, a scene isn't filmed just once. Remember, we, we yesterday we started talking about movies um, and how they are filmed and that they are, uh, we, we saw a conversation about the fact that one minute in a movie can last, like it can be, a, a shot for one movie can can last many days because they shoot them many, many, many times from different angles. So it says, a scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Um, one scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Now, these sentences are very um, different than the rest of the sentences that you guys um, normally have seen, because in this case, the subject, in this case, a scene, or only the best shots, or one scene, or in this case, lots of different shots. These are the subjects in the sentence. However, they are not, the, the subjects in the sentences are not the ones that do the action, okay? And what are the actions? Well, the actions are these. Isn't filmed just once. Are used. May be shot. Have to be taken. So in this case, uh, the scene isn't filmed. The, the, the scene isn't the one that does the filming, right? So in other words, in like a, if I say in Spanish, la escena no es la que se, no es la cosa que filma, ¿verdad? Sino que alguien filma. So the pers a person is doing an action, but it's not the subject. So here, in these kind of sentences, we are just concentrating on the process, not who does the action. Does that make sense? Does it make sense why we're using the passive voice? So a scene is not the one filming. One scene is not the one that shoots. Only the best shots are not the one that uses something. A lot of different shots are not the ones that take. It's somebody that does it, okay? But here we're concentrating on the process. Now, how do we do it? There are two forms. One form is simply very basic. Um, just using the simple present of the verb to be. Okay, in this case, is or are. Okay, very simple. And then after that, we're gonna be using the past participle. Okay, simple as that. Okay, that's the structure. Always use the verb to be. Now, the verb to be can be in different forms. In this case, we can use the verb to be in the simple present. It's gonna depend if the, the, if the, the subject is singular or firm, 
or plural. For example, here, a seen is only, is only one, so we're going to use isn't. But here, only the best shots is plural, so we're going to use the word are. Okay? Now, in this case, it, okay, just give me a moment. So we have isn't, and here are, and then here the past participle. In this case, it's filmed. In this case, it's used. Now, in the other one, we're still going to be using the verb to be, but in this case, it's the form of be with a modal. So it could be any modal. It could be may, might, should, could, would, um, shall, will, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't matter, whatever the modal is. And then we use the past participle. Okay, so like I said, it doesn't matter what the modal is, okay? It can be any modal at all. In this case, one scene may be shot here. We're using the modal may and then be. It's always going to be be. Don't put, um, like, for example, is, are, was, were, being, um, what uh, were no no nothing like that it has to be always be because remember i've taught you this before after a modal auxiliary the rule is that it always 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 has to be in the base form that's why b is going to always be b okay so maybe should be would be could be should uh shall be might be maybe etc 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 Okay, and in this one, have to be, that's modal, have to, have to is also a modal, so a modal auxiliary, so have to be, okay, and then here, we're using past participle, the past participle of shoot is shot, and the past participle of take is taken. Any questions about this? Uh, I didn't have confusion when I I when I have to use the the first form and when I use the second with the model. Oh, okay. So um, this would just it, it really depends on what you're trying to convey. For example, remember that we've learned that may and might can be used for possibilities. Do you remember that? Okay, so if we're talking about a possibility, then we're gonna use may in this one. That's why we use in here, maybe. So one shoot, oh, sorry, one scene may be shot from five or six different angles. So it means it's a possibility to shoot the scene from the five or six different angles. Okay, so that's what we're saying. Um, so it's going to depend on what we're the the idea that we're trying to say. So if we're talking about um, an advice, we could possibly use should. Okay, for example, uh, one scene should be taken from five or take through should be taken from five or six different angles. So in that case, we're, we're giving it a suggestion. So it depends on what we want to say, like what is uh, what is the connotation that we want to give, okay? Um, if we want to talk about um, permissions, we can use can. Okay, um, so one scene can be shot. So it means it's a, it's, it's a, we have the permission. So does that make sense, Yancy? 
Yes. Okay. So it really just depends on what you want to say. Okay. Anything else? No, I think not. No? Okay, so if this is clear for you guys, um, actually, I'll just, um, I'll do a screenshot so you guys can have this information. It's the same that you guys have in the, in the book, but you may want to have it like this. Okay, and I'll send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay, and what we're going to do right now is we'll we'll do some exercises, um, with uh, using the the passive, the passive voice. Okay, um, so let me just send you guys the the screenshot first. Okay, um, and can can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can. Yes, I see. All right. So this is. Oops. Oh, sorry. There we go. All right. So um. So it says the sentence. Uh, the sentences below describe how a movie is made. First, complete the sentence using the passive. In the, in the sense, com, uh, compare with a partner, but I think we're gonna do this all together. Okay. Um, so I want you to identify first, what is this correct structure of the verb in parentheses? The verb in parentheses is always gonna be in the past, in the past participle, just letting you guys know. Okay, so just use always that verb in the past participle. And then just use the correct form of the verb to be, okay? And then after that, um, you're going to decide with your partner what is gonna be first. Like for example, number one, this is number one. One, and then you're gonna have two, three, four, five, six. And then over here, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think they're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, there are nine in total. So you're just gonna put them in the order that you think is more logical. So this is number one, this is uh, number six and so on. Then you're gonna find out what's the last one, that last one would be number nine. Okay, does that make sense guys? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let me send you guys also this in the WhatsApp group. Okay. All right, so... Um, and if you guys already saw there, um, uh, we're, um, our tech support um, and administrator, well, actually she's more administrator than anything else. Um, she She's telling you guys that if you want, she ha she can help you there uh, with the, 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 the grades, okay? So you guys don't, don't feel that you don't, um, that that um, you have to do this alone, okay? The, anything that you need from the platform, just just um, go ahead and, and and ask, okay? Because we're here to help you, okay? Um, 
Okay, so um, we are going to put you guys into breakout rooms, but I just want to make sure that everybody's here. So, Brendy, are you going to be participating? Yes, teacher. Just have drinking water. Okay, no problem. Just making sure. Um, Eliana, Janet. Eliana? Eliana, no. Vanessa Esmeralda? I just don't want to put people in groups where, where, where there's not going to be anybody to, pra to practice with. So, Vanessa Esmeralda? Sí. Are you going to be, you're going to be able to be in the group, right? To participate? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Saul, Saul Antonio? Solo, solo me, me confirman si van a poder participar en los grupos para que así yo sé que puedo ponerlos en los grupos y no que se van a quedar a algunos sin, sin compañero. So, Saúl. Okay, so I guess that one is not. Um, okay, all right, thank you, Yancy. Uh, okay, Eduardo Jose? I think. Yes, teacher, I'm, I'm available. Available? Uh, you're available, okay, good. Available. All right, excellent. Okay, um, all right, excellent. Ed Edson? Will yes, please? teacher, no problem. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So I'm going to um, open up the groups so you guys can work on it. Here we go. Joanna, you having problems connecting? Joanna? Chair, are you there? Hi. Yeah. Eh, Saul dijo de que iba a estar como oyente, así que solo él tenía. Estaba solo. Sí. Estaba solita. Es que estaba con Saúl, pero me dijo que no iba a poder porque estaba como niente, porque estaba... Ok. Va, entonces le voy a mandar ahí a otro grupo. Ok. Joana, Iliana. Joana. Okay. In the collection, uh, pick our pickets. Our pickets and our customers. Uh, our design. Our design, yes. Uh -huh. Film can they begin? Okay, next. The online uh, are expand, expanded. Yes, or are expanded, expanded. into a script. Yes. Yeah. After, after the script, are complete. Or be complete. No, are complete there. Are complete. Are complete. 
I complete a uh, director must uh, be hired. Hired. Be hired, yeah. Okay. Uh, the final field you see in the screen is to create. To create. To create by the director and an editor out of thousand of different shots. Yeah. Yes. The next. Long after the field has been. Yeah. Are confused. Are confused. In the music. Um, is composer. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and sound effects may be finished. Be finished. Finish. No, or finish. Are finished. Are finished. Are finished. Are no, finished. Fin uh -huh. finished. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's uh -huh. finished. 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 Uh -huh. It's finished. Uh, the different shots can see. Uh, uh -huh. are, are, are put together. Um, are put together? I don't know. Yes, yes, are put together. Yes, are put together uh, uh -huh. by the editor, editor and director. One shot in the one shot in the gang. A shot are filming. Are film. Film. Yeah. A sort of film. No. Ah, yeah. see, a film. Mm -hmm. Separately, the scientists may be not. Maybe, maybe no. not. I see. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not shot in sequence. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Ah, sí. Es así. Creo que sí. O la última, si no. Así era el ejercicio de la plataforma. Ah, ok. The film is ya. The parent is maybe not shot. Voy a dejar de compartir porque si no no puedo dar la mano. Okay. Okay, aquí lo veo también yo en mi WhatsApp. Sí. Solo ese exercise, solo ese ejercicio era. Sí. Sí, creo que solo es cero. Okay, so you are finished? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And you put you put them in order. You put you put uh, which one do you think is first, second, third. So you 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 did that because you have to put them in order. No, I don't know. No, okay, no, you, you you have to put them in order. So number one, number two, number three, number four. Ah, no, no. Yeah, you have to do that. Okay. Ah, okay. De, de poner, de, uh, como poner la secuencia o algo así. No. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, eso no lo, no lo hemos hecho. Okay. Uh, Aquí dice que la primera, the first uh, outline of the script has are prepared there. No, no. Esto tiene a mi marido, esto tiene a mi marido. No vuelvo a poner. 
and the second I don't know the complete the script. Roberto, ¿qué me dices? I don't know. Yeah, uh, can you hear me? And, and uh, yeah. do you hear? I'm um, yes. Hold on. Uh, I'm I'm a little bit busy right now, but let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And the next. Uh, this is a conversation, right? After the script. After the script, the complete. Uh, I think after the script, must. No, must be, no, I don't know. I think is in the past complete, I don't, I don't remember, but yeah, hold on, hold on. Mm. All right, um, we're gonna be checking together. Uh, remember guys that uh, because we were, we started our class uh, a bit late, we're gonna be um, going a little bit, uh, a few minutes after, okay? To be able to complete the, the hour. Um, All right, so let's check the answers. Please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Yes, teacher. Yes, that's right. Yes. Okay. All right, um, let's check the answers then. Um, so the first one says to complete the script, it has to be righted. To be. Yes, very good. So here we're going to be using be divided because, um, because we are, um, using the, the, what's it called? Um, the, oh, um, the modal, the modal auxiliary has to, okay? Um, all right, next. Um, and the filming details need to be writing out. Be written. 
written out. Written. Oh. Sorry, Writ written out. Mm -hmm. Be written out. Um, it's, it's hold on, double T, double T, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did it. I did it right the first time. I I doubted myself. I did it right. Okay, here we go. Next one. First, an outline of the script has to be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Right. Okay. Has to be prepared. Uh, next actors are chosen. Chosen. Are chosen. Yes. Actors are chosen. Location are are picked. Are picked. Are picked. Locations are picked. Are picked. Um. Yeah. And costumes are designed. Are designed. Good. Are designed. Are designed. Yes. Are designed. Filming can filming can then begin. Then the outline. Is expanded. It's expanded. It's expanded. Is expanded. Yes. Is expanded. Expanded. Um. Into a script. After the script is completed, completed. is completed, is completed. Um, a director must is hired. Is hired. Must is hire. Must hire. Must is must hired. Must hired. No, 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 no. Must yes. must is a modal auxiliary. Must be hired. Must hired. to be hired. What must goes hired? to be. Must to be hired. No. Did just, you in the platform? Must be. In the platform is hired. Is hired. No, must se dice hired. plata. Plata is silver. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's be, to be hired. Must be hired. Okay. I don't know. I'm not, I haven't checked what the answer is in the platform, but I will check. Okay. Um, I will check and, and and I'll tell you guys later. But but yes, this is this should be the answer. A director must be hired. Okay, the final film you see in the screen. Is created. Is created. Is created. Um, soon after the film has has been edited, music. Is composed. Is composed. Excellent. Is composed, and sound effects may be. Sorry, may. Finish. It's finished. May. Finished. May be finished. May be added. May be added. May be added. After the film, the film mean. After the finished. Is finished. Is finished. Finished. The different shots can then um, can, can then what goes after can be be good be be, be put together be put. okay be put together uh by the editor and director once shooting shooting begins different shots are filmed are, are filmed yes are filmed yeah. separately scenes may may be that in this Maybe. case it's going to be not first um, may not not not, uh, may not be, shot. be shot there you go there you go those are the answers Okay, well, we'll check the order of it all on Monday. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay. All right, okay, okay guys. Teacher. So that will be all for today, and I'll see you guys on Monday. So enjoy your weekend and um, relax. Okay. Talk to you, teacher. All right, okay. take care, guys. See you. Okay, teacher. Bye, everyone. Bye.